But thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us here. Now, you are a Tomorrowland veteran, aren't you? Oh, yeah. It's uh, <laughs> It's been quite a while. You know, it's great because I've seen it grow over the years. Mm-hmm. And I think about five years ago when it just exploded worldwide, um, you know, it was like the talk of the world. And yeah. uh, I started playing here before that point And uh, it, it's just amazing to see it, how it's uh, just exploded. What has been your favorite, um, most memorable Tomorrowland experience? Uh, there's been quite a few, but I, I mean, um, for the last couple of years, uh, I've been doing the daybreak sessions mm-hmm. um, on the main stage. Um, and uh, it's funny, it always rains, but th- the fans are amazing. They just stay out there in the rain. But probably my favorite memory was, I think it was three years ago, four years ago, I did an open and close uh, on my own um, stage here uh, where I started, I think it was at noon, or a- and I went until one o'clock in the morning until it ended. Um, and it was a 13-hour set, longest set I've ever done, and it was absolutely amazing. I was shattered by How the end of it. How did you do that? How did you get to the toilet? Uh, no, you sweat it out. Really? Yeah, I mean, you don't want to be standing next to me at the end of my set because I, uh, I smelled pretty bad. But uh, <laughs> and it was hot in the in the uh, in the tent as well. But uh, no, you just sweat it out. Just drink a lot of water and sweat. So, what new music have you got on the horizon for us? Um, I got my new album coming out uh, called We Are The Light in uh, September, October, end of September, beginning of October. So I'm starting to sneak in a few tracks from uh, from my new album and I'm quite excited about it. A lot of great collaborations. I did a collaboration with Sabu from Capital Cities and I'm actually going to end my set uh, with that song and um, it's called Upon My Shoulders. It, mm-hmm. it was actually written um, with Tomorrowland in, yeah. in mind. So. Oh. Um, the, the lyrics are uh, carrying you up on my shoulders so you can let go. And when we were in the studio writing, I was just trying to imagine being on stage, looking out and seeing all these people on each other's shoulders. And uh, and I wrote for them, you know, so it's it should be a pretty amazing moment. I, I debuted it at EDC in, mm-hmm. uh, in Vegas uh, last month, and it was just a magical moment. So I'm just really excited about playing it here. That is amazing. Do you ever get a bit nervous putting out new music because you think, will people like it? Oh, yeah, it? of course. You, I mean, you get judged, even if you, you know, you get judged on it no matter what, yeah. you know, one way or the other. Um, and, uh, it, you know, you, you spend two, three years working on an album and people judge it just like that, yeah. like in 30 minutes or not even that if, uh, if, if you know, the first song isn't good. So, <laughs> um, of course, but at the same time, you know, I, I make music, um, not instant gratification music. I try and make music that can withstand the test mm-hmm. of time. Um, and then people, I, I notice that people discover my music sometimes one, two years after it's been oh, released right. because, you know, it, it just, it, it, it saturates in. Have you received any weird feedbacks from your um, fans, listeners? Weird feedback? Yeah. Um, well, you know, I've had all, <laughs> all kinds of messages about things that they've been doing when they're listening to some of my music. So, or like, <laughs> <laughs> well, you can imagine. <laughs> have you ever seen anything though when you're on your set? And you're uh, no, well, have I seen it? Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, of course. I mean, I've been, well, I've been doing this a while. I've, I think I've seen it all. <laughs> yeah. Strange gifts? Any strange? Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah. And uh, the, 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 the funniest is when uh, people bring, you know, hey, can you sign my wife's boobs? <laughs> <laughs> that happens more than you realize. And then she just like pulls it out. It just pops wow. right out. And a is, flaccid boob. Just yeah. There. yeah, just I like it. Bam. Oh, wow. Bam. And the husband hands me the pen. <laughs> Final question. Right. Obviously, Dance FM is based in the UAE in Dubai. Oh, yeah. Oh, so we have to keep this conservative. Well, yeah, we do. It's too late. It's too late. Um, <laughs> Edit that out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> when are you coming back? I, you know what? I, um, I just played um, at Zero Gravity, and I'm really excited about coming back. We're working on it right now. Um, next year, when I come back, we need to pick a date when it's not so hot. Because I played the yeah. last weekend before Ramadan, and I tell you what, it was so hot. But the trans family was out. They were so they were so full of love and, and energy, and it was absolutely amazing. So I, I love coming back to Dubai. Amazing. Please come back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank well, you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, uh, Marcus Schultz, for joining us. Thank yeah. you guys for having me, and see you soon. Yeah. Yeah.